Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is How To Architect Design a Dream Home, Part 2 The Program. I asked Scott and Lisa to put together both architectural influences as well as formal requirements for their new home. As discussed in Part 1, Pennsylvania German culture as well as nature have been large influences on our clients' work. To that extent, they love architecture like covered bridges and barns. Both also talked a lot about the comfortable aesthetic and natural warmth of Frank Lloyd Wright's work. Lastly, they mentioned their pension for the unusual, as in the homes of England or Wales that incorporate earth into the architecture. Scott and Lisa also like modern work like Philip Johnson's Glass House or the Eames Residence, while still being fond of more organic projects like Hundertwasser House in Austria. Since this is still a theoretical project, they've also made some suggestions for the site. They love the architectural aspects of Arches National Park and thought perhaps the house could span a ravine or river. They're also quite fond of the cliff homes in California. Finally, they both seem interested in architecture that structurally pushes the envelope, like the time-worn but magnificent Hagia Sophia, or more contemporary Rock Church in Helsinki. In terms of programmatic elements, they're looking for a three-bedroom home with sunken living room, no formal dining, a kitchen with island, and a large master bedroom suite. As artists, they're also looking for a separate studio with lots of light, high ceilings, two home offices, and great views. The main house should have an outdoor space with fire pit, patio and pool, small greenhouse, and three-car garage. Finally, they want big walls for artwork and a large outdoor deck. I'm Doug Pat. We'll see you next time to discuss the site.